come home and I take a 30 minute nap and I'll go run. I'll do five miles every other day and on the, I do a lot of road work. I'm just like so exhausted, but it's an exhaustion that kind of makes me feel good. But art, I don't see that there's anything, there's no right or there's no wrong way that you could do it. It's just anybody could do it. It's a self-expression. You got to get out of the mindset that, uh, what is this person going to think of it? You can't think like that. You just got to think, this is what I do and this is what I love. And as long as you're happy with it, that's all that matters. It's not a test or a competition. It just comes through, you know, and that's how you got to, you got to do it. The rebar mat, the way that it looks, it's all weaved and crossed over, kind of like a, the, the human muscle scale, you know, it's all fabricated, it comes together, it's in her lap, everything's together, kind of like a shirt or a fabric. So for me, it's just very, you know, the intricate design of it is what draws me to it, you know. If you zoom into my artwork, you see a little strokes, they kind of come together like a weave, you know. I do a lot of that when I'm painting, I'm thinking of those designs that are in there. I find painting very, very relaxing, keeps me very, uh, very in peace. It's a constant sense of creating something and it just makes me feel good. I love the texture of the paint. It rubs off on the canvas, different, uh, different strokes and effects that you get out of it. It's very, very calming. This painting right here, just uh, again, another creation from my head. Wanting to say something but holding back. Holding back on what you want to say. It represents the past. I guess the past, uh, I never really spoke on how I felt, man. I always kind of held things back. I never let people know I was bothering me. And today I've kind of learned to just be this person who just, you got to speak your mind sometimes, man. Because you got to let people know what's bothering you. That's... That's kind of where that comes from, man. Just not holding back. I like a lot of Picasso's cubism. I'm very inspired by, by his cubist era. I took some of my uh, paintings to the job site. I've sold like seven pieces there. That freestyle you did, I know it's freestyle because you open your imagination when you uh, yeah. work on that, on, on that frame. The way I see it is being a rod buster and an iron worker, but it's very physical and you really have to have a lot of heart doing it, you know, because you're always walking on uneven terrain. You have to lift a large amount of weight and whether you got a cramp in your leg, a cramp in your bag, you're always in pain, you know. You got to have a lot of heart and work through that mentally. It's a team, a team effort. Right? In the end, when it's all done, you know, like, the hotels are built, the buildings built. Nobody really remembers the guys who, you know, really broke their back to do it. So we kind of just go in there and do it like warriors. I feel like we all are. A lot of them were surprised. Wow, Seth, you, you're an artist, you, you paint, you know, why are you doing this? Why are you, why are you an iron worker? Why don't you just stick to your art? And I just, you know, <laughs> I love both worlds though.